On today's episode of Watch Jericho, we are here with my 2018 Ford F-250 Platinum. And today, we're gonna fix the uh, very bad brakes. What is going on guys? I am Watch Jergo, and like I said, we are here with my F-250 and today it's time to do the brake job that it's, it's needed for a little while, let's be honest. But first, let's jump into a drive and I'll explain it. So we're heading to the shop in the F-250 right now. I just wanted to do a little before drive so you guys could kind of hear what's going on with the brakes. Uh, obviously, I mean, it has 81,000 miles now on fully stock brakes. I'm sure they've never had pads. I, I know the rotors were rough at 60,000. That's when they started indicating like those heat stress cracks that Ford rotors do really early on. And about a week ago, the squealers started hitting pretty hard, which is weird. I assumed the squealers were gonna last a lot longer, but here we're getting on the brakes. There you go. Right there, you heard a little <laughs> Uh, I think that's the end of these brakes fully. So today, we're gonna rip all these old brakes off, throw them in the trash. I'm sure they're completely gone. So the pads are gone and the rotors are trash too. The rotors were obviously trashed at 60,000. I have heard that on these Ford F-250s, like at 60,000, you just need to buy new rotors and aftermarket ones because the AOE ones will again crack at 60,000 after you change them. So I figured let's just drive these till it was all trash and that's exactly what we did. Now. Let's rip them off and see how bad it is. It's probably really bad. Actually, you can still hear the squealers a little bit. We'll give it a little roll. Yeah, so it's not completely gone, just real close. And now we're back in the shop with the F-250 up on the lift. We're gonna raise it up just a little bit more to make it easy to work on and uh, pull the wheels off here and just get started on the brake job. We've got brake best everything today. New rotors all the way around, new pads. The rears look like 672353 RGS. Well, this is how you crush your toe right here. Oh man, those rotors weigh like 30 pounds each. It's outrageous what they weigh. It's like dropping a plate on your toe. And the fronts are 672355 RGS. And uh, I'll throw links to everything in the description. Can't wait to get this done. It'll drive so much better, better than it did when I bought the truck. Let's get these wheels off here. The lugs uh, appear to be 21s. You never know with Fords because they're like variable once the lugs swell. But I think these ones are actually 21s. Ooh -wee. These things are monstrous. Oh, it's turned down. I was like, man, it's really fighting. There we go. I also have brand new tires and I paid for them and I haven't gotten them yet and I don't know when I'm gonna get them, but I really, really wish I had them. It needs tires badly. Uh, these tires have probably been on it since it was new too. 80,000 miles. Wow. Okay. Gosh, those are huge. We got the factory big brake kit up in here. These rotors are outrageous. Now that we've got the rear off, we can do a quick inspection. You can see all the heat checking and cracking in these. Uh, they don't exactly feel warped, but they are grooved in that direction. And there's that little micro cracking in these rotors. Uh, I mean, this thing weighs 8,000 pounds. It's an insane vehicle. And the brakes are insane to match. But if you look at the pads, these pads are excellent. Like completely fine. We're changing them anyway, but that must mean the fronts are the problem. Eric's pulling the front off of here. <laughs> Those are monstrous as well. Let's take a look at this. Okay, you can see some metal on there, like just some little, so it must be the fronts. You have no brake pads, yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit left, just a hair. So if you can see down in there, there's maybe, I don't know, a tenth of an inch. And on the back, somewhere it's grabbing metal, but there's still a little pad, I don't get it. The back is definitely where the little That's no pad. glistening metal came. Oh yeah, yeah, it's not really much. But the heat checking on the front is outrageous. Yeah. And that's been there since I bought the truck. Here's the glitter factory back here. They're not pulling their Jake brake like they should be. Jake brake. This does have auto engine braking, but I keep it off all the time. It automatically turns on with trailers, which is cool. But uh, when I'm just driving it, I don't like to have it on because that's what originally set the check engine lights that were causing all the issues. This tire's from a different batch. <laughs> this this tire's from Ford suspension issues. It's a different date. Oh, code. is it a different date? Yeah, it's a different. Oh yeah. This probably just in the stack, I'm sure. Same year, but a week sooner. It's crazy that everything on this truck has 80,000 miles. This is the first time it's ever had to have any service. A little lean to it. 
Well, I can't wait to put my new tires on. Problem solving. All right, so same drill here. The front looks great. Actually, the rear looks great. It's really only one pad that was completely gone. But if you take a look at that pad, hopefully you can see that there. Uh, it's also down to maybe a tenth of an inch. The heat checking on this one is massive. Now for the real test, seeing if I can actually remove these caliper bolts. They're 21s, they're massive, and I bet they're tight. <laughs> That's a no-go. Uh, I wish I could get the big impact on, but we don't have clearance. Get it? I like how you hit it with your The elephant is maximum power, all right? I see that. <laughs> Probably need the, the jack handle. Yeah, I think the jack handle will do it or we can try to get the impact on. Let's see if Eric's got this. I don't know this. why you can't. Huh? I don't know why you couldn't. It's tight, like actually tight. I had full, full power. It's tight. Come on, I believe in you. <laughs> well, I got nothing to pull. That's outrageous, dude. Got nothing to pull against. Yeah. Uh, do you have the swivel? Yeah, we'll put the, we'll use the swivel 21 in the big impact. Well, these things are just absolutely massive. I mean, here's a hand compared to the caliper. This is uh, this is Porsche CCB sized braking. So absolutely outrageous. Dual pistons in the front here and we got the caliper off. So now we're just gonna pop it off there with the old large pry bar. And she's all apart. The monster rotors are off, the pads are off. Those pads are, uh, I mean, they're definitely trash and the wheel bearing still sounds nice so we're ready to throw our new setup on there and get her back on the road let's open these up all right everything's cleaned up ready to go back together we've got they had silver anti-seize on here instead of grease uh, i like the silver anti-seize i only had copper so we went ahead and put a little copper anti-seize on there to make sure that the wow rotors come off for the next guy <laughs> this is about all i can do Man, those are crazy, crazy rotors. All right, it's all seated. Uh, the brake pads are outside. I just sprayed them with disc brake quiet. So they should be ready in just a moment to go back in. And everything's been lubed up with the old ceramic extreme brake part grease. So they should be nice and quiet and all brand newy. They weren't as bad as I thought. One of the ones over there had started getting hot, the one where we saw the glitter, but I thought it was way worse. So. This was, it had to be done right now. This was really the time, but uh, it, you know, it could have gone another 50 miles. <laughs> so we've got the new rotor on and I just ran to O'Reilly's and bought this uh, brake pad separator tool. Uh, this is the gearless one and it's one of the performance tool ones. And it seemed like the best way to possibly do this. So you can see it's just super seamlessly retracting the pistons. And there I've come up on some resistance. So I think I'm actually all the way back. Let me take a look. And uh, if we're there, we're ready to put the new pads in. John Ross is outside handling something right now, but we had to throw new clips on because the old ones were just absolutely way too bent up, even though we tried to grease them. And we actually got a little bit more out of the pistons down here to spread these apart so we can get it over this. So now we got the first one done, we can get it slid on and start getting the rest of these. But as you can see, Two new brake pads, get them on, one wheel done, three to go. Eric put the new clips in. Uh, for some reason, the fronts didn't come with clips, so I think we're out of luck on the backs now. But, boom, yes. Okay, up a touch. This is uh, finally in with new clips. We don't know what we're gonna do about not having enough clips, but uh, hey, at least it finally went in. The old clips would not let the pads go in no matter what. Okay, Picasso, I like it. That's all I'm gonna say for now. <laughs> um, so, the backs are off. I'm gonna throw a pad back in it for just a moment here, just to run the old brake pad expander. This thing rocks. It is making our lives so much easier. I'm going the wrong way. Anyway, back it back out, throw it in there, switch it back to Ford. Needs more. Anyway, did you say Ford? Ford. Forward. Ford. I'm switching it to Ford. <laughs> Welcome to the Ford. We've got the new rotor on. A little anti-seize back there. Make sure it doesn't ever stick. The uh, pads are outside with the disc brake quiet drying. And there we go. I'm ready to push these things in. Taking it nice and slow. New everything. I'm super pumped for how this truck's gonna drive. 
It looks like it's about time for shocks too. We're seeing a little bit of oil build up and dirt back there on the rear shocks. Wheels going on, that one's all wrapped up. And now we are finishing up the last one. Just finished running the pad spreader. So the pistons are fully retracted and we're ready to kind of clean it up. First, sledgehammer off the old, uh, the Ford rear rotors here. These are factory. I was joking. Yeah, yeah, they say Fomoco on them. Everything said Fomoco, go for it. He's done. Oh, oh, there it goes, it's free. Boom. What could have been the easiest job ever if we had new clips turned into removing clips, cleaning them. Obviously all the pads went outside and got coated with disc brake quiet, so uh, those should be nice and quiet. So this should be the first one that's super easy to do. Look at that. All the others we've fought and fought and fought to get together. But when you got new clips. All right, last one here. Go in. Without a fight, please. Please. There we go. Oh, gosh. Literally a 10 minute job as I expected if you have the right stuff. What a job. Front wheels are back on. We went ahead and rotated the tires. Should help out a little bit too. Uh, it's a one week rotate before the new tires go on. Time to bed in these brakes. So they already felt better. Time to stop from 20. Speed back up here. Another stop from 30. This was Hawk's old break-in or something like power stops maybe. There's a 30 to zero. And now let's do a 40 to zero. It stops so much better. Oh, this is like a miracle. This definitely needed done for a very long time. I'm super pumped about how it came out. Uh, there's no more feedback in the pedal, none of that little womp, 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 womp from all the, the heat that was in the brakes from before. Oh, that's pretty cool. Power tour car there. Old Impala. I like it, man. All right, I'm gonna go drive the truck around a little bit more. Enjoy my new brakes, and when I get new tires, I feel like the truck will drive like a new truck again, and it's probably time to do an oil change. It's coming up on it. Nice. That's what we wanted to see out of the brake job. Nice and smooth, no noise at all. This brake job was eight hundred dollars though that's just pads and rotors i know you're probably doing it to your truck if you're at sixty thousand plus miles and i'm sure the ford dealership wants like double for the install there so i mean it could be a sixteen hundred dollar brake job i didn't have it quoted there's no way i would have let them do it uh it's just way too expensive to do a brake job on this truck just got back retorqued the wheels i put them all at 140. also the torque on the caliper bracket is 203 and uh, the caliper itself is 55 on the caliper slide bolts there. So just so you know, all the torque specs. And uh, one thing we did find is you have to clearance the pads just a little bit, like just a hair to make them fit really well. Uh, so I just used my grinder and we took off a little tiny notch and they slid right in. So that should make everything run freely and uh, lots of caliper grease on everything where it slides. So that was it. F-250 brake job. It was actually a, a way bigger job than I thought. I thought 30 minutes, because that's what it should take to swap out a bunch of pads and some rotors, but instead it ended up taking like two hours, something like that, because of having to pull the pads back off, clearance them, check them, and then uh, you know nudge them back into place. I've heard of people having to beat these pads into place on the truck. <sighs> anyway, we got it done. Hopefully they don't need done again for another 80,000 miles. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop. Watch JaredGirl.com for cool shirts. Not like this. And please like, share, subscribe. Do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. This truck is definitely a unit. Also, uh, the fog light wiring had like dropped down underneath this thing. So I just crawled under there. It's tough to see, but it, it hangs under that little um, wind deflector there, diffuser. And I taped it all back onto the factory brackets where the electrical tape had failed. So it looks awesome again. And I went back to O'Reilly's and filled it up with def. So this truck has, uh, it's been maintenance. Also the escort radar is lit up and it's correct. There's the police. Good job, escort.